so if you guys come on over here to the workbench, I'm going to show you some parts that I just got today. Uh, these parts came from these folks. Uh, what do we got? Cartworks.ca. Ontario company, so good folks over there. They sent these off to me, and uh, and when I say they sent them off to me, I pay for them. I have no affiliation with these guys, but they sent them off to me in a pretty timely order. So what I got from them for the cart is mostly engine stuff. So I got uh, got this exhaust pipe, and it's pretty standard. No silencer on here. We don't need silencers. No silencer on here. This is going to mount right on to the not there, other side. It's going to mount right on there, and... Basically change the uh, change the uh, exhaust note for the engine. Once we uh, get it revved right up, you'll definitely notice. Uh, other things I got from those folks, I got two 18-pound valve spring springs. Okay, or valve springs, 18-pound valve springs. So here they are here. Uh, these basically are going to prevent valve floating. So once the RPM gets up higher than it normally would be because there's no governor, the, the stiffer valve springs will just keep those valves opening and, and slamming down closed fully so they don't, uh, don't have any accidents. Other things I got from them, these are, this is rather, a, uh, what are they called, emulsion tube. So this goes in the bottom of the carburetor. This is for a GX140. Now this is a GX160, a five and a half engine, but by using a GX140 emulsion tube, what I've learned or what I've read is that it's going to provide slightly more uh, bottom end, now bottom end torque. Now we'll see whether that holds true or not, but um, yeah. Other thing we got in here, I think we got one other item. <clears throat> Better have another item. Oh, there it is. It's the other item. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Tear into it. I gotta be careful though. I dropped something down there. It's probably gone. There we go. Come on. There it is. So if you ever worked on a carburetor, you know exactly what that is. It's just a new carb main carburetor jet. So this is um, this is a 90. Um, so this is gonna provide more fuel to go along with more air that our engine's gonna be getting as a result of the higher airflow air filter. Now, when we get this air filter on here, we're gonna have more air going to the engine. When we have more air, we have to have more fuel. So therefore, by getting a different size jet, a larger one, for the carburetor, we're gonna have more air, more fuel, and all that combustion is gonna have a easier flowing exhaust with the new uh, exhaust pipe. So hopefully this all leads to, you know, a little more kick in the rear end when we're driving that cart. So. That's what the goal is. Those are the new parts. And uh, thanks again to the folks at cartworks.ca if they're ever watching the video. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna get this junk out of the way and we're gonna dive into the carburetor here. So this is the one that's stock on the GX160. I'm gonna dive in here and basically take the bottom, uh, take the bottom bowl off the carburetor and we'll insert the new emulsion tube and then we'll also put in the new jet. Quite easy, so follow along here and we'll get that done. Okay, so this is what a dirty carburetor looks like from a five and a half horse GX160. Uh, you could take some time, clean it off if you wanted. I'm gonna do a full clean when I'm all done. So uh, yeah, I'm not worrying about it at this point. If you were gonna clean it, carb cleaner, it's probably what you would use. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I've already loosened this off a little bit at the bottom, but you're just gonna take this bolt off, the one that's right here in the very center of this bottom, I don't know what you'd even call that color, goldy looking bowl it's called, but we're gonna take that off. And once that's off, basically you can remove the piece. And now you'll see, uh, this is called a float, but you'll see that piece, just be careful with it. It, uh, it needs to remain intact, obviously. Um, within this cylinder portion here, that's where you're going to find two things. And these are the two things that we're going to find. We're going to find them in this order. So if I were to position this carburetor just like this, in that tube here, you're going to find the emulsion tube. And you're going to find, on this side of it, the main jet. So we're going to take out the main jet, this one, and this is going to fall down along with it. How we take it out is like this. You'll notice, oh, I had it in the wrong order, you'll notice that... This has slots in the end. The main jet has slots in the end. You'll see it there. That, that slot is what you take out with a screwdriver. 
So that fits in just like that, All right? So it actually sits like that inside that tube. So I'm going to, using my flathead screwdriver, find that particular slot, loosen it off. And once it's loose, it should, should fall out, okay? And what's, what you're left with is basically the old emulsion tube and the old jet, the old main jet. So we're just gonna replace it and it's as easy as that. You just make sure it goes in the exact same order you took it out in. That goes in there and this one goes in like so. And you're gonna know that the main jet is going in the right direction because the slots have to face you, right? That's what you're using to loosen and to tighten it. And this is not some high torque setting here. So just be careful, like don't torque things to the point where they break. So then you might as well just throw this carburetor away, right? So we're gonna keep going until we start to feel snug. And I'm starting to feel snug and I don't know what the torque setting is. Someone else on the internet probably will read off all the specs. But I don't know, I sort of have a five finger torque setting here. So whatever that feels like, that's what I set it at. So that is it. That is essentially how you replace the emulsion tube and the main jet in a carburetor. As for what settings you end up using, as for what, uh, what main jet size you use, what emulsion tube size you use, well, the internet's your, uh, your playground for that. So have a look and figure out what other, people's have, what other people have used with their, their new air filters and their exhaust. But uh, from what I read, a 90 car main carburetor jet, 140, so the GX140 emulsion tube, those two go really well together when you're dealing with the GX160 engine, a high flow air filter, and a free, follow, free flowing exhaust pipe. So that's what I read and that's what I'm doing and now you just saw it. So that's about it guys, so I appreciate you watching. Uh, next time we'll go ahead and hopefully the new gasket set is here. We'll see where we need that. So hopefully the new gasket set is here and we can start to seal up the engine and really get this thing fired back up to see how removing the governor, new air filter, exhaust, carb settings really affects the output of this GX160. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.